In this video, we're going to take a look at a really nice, compact GPS jamming device. This particular device you see here is relatively inexpensive. It can be purchased for around $30, $35. And it has an effective jamming radius between 15 and 20 feet from this device. Now, unfortunately, we are living at a time where our privacy is slowly being destroyed. You have cell phone companies keeping track of all your phone calls and all your text messages are logged. You have the federal government spying in your phone calls. You also have companies like Google turning around saying that everybody's IP address is recorded with all of their searches and it is kept in a database. And of course, they are working with the federal government. So down the road, if you're an individual who likes to go hunting or maybe skeet shooting or target shooting, if you're looking up ammunition on Google or rifles or other things pertaining to what you like to do with hunting and shooting, the government later on could say we'd like to pull everybody's IP address and their records and we're going to do keyword searches for shooting, bullets, guns, and then we know whose door to go knocking on when the time comes. So people would turn around and say I have nothing to hide, but it has nothing to do with having nothing to hide. It's about principle. We do have a right to privacy, and we should not be spied on by the government or anybody else, unless there is probable cause. Now, I recently rented a car on vacation, paid a lot of money for the car rental, and when I was signing the contract at the counter, when the car was being checked out, I noticed on the contract it said a GPS tracking device is installed on your vehicle, and everything will be tracked. Now I have nothing to hide, but I also do not like the idea of people keeping tabs on me when I'm out and about, especially when I'm paying a lot of money to rent a vehicle. This is where this particular device is going to come in extremely handy. If you rent a car and you do not want to be tracked, this is what you're going to need. If you have a cell phone and you don't want anybody tracking you through GPS on your cell phone, this will put an end to it. Now, if you do not want to buy this, it's a very nice unit. This unscrews from the antenna. As you see here, it's very lightweight, doesn't draw that much current. And it has a little power indicator LED. You unscrew here, there's a fuse. Comes with a few extra fuses as well. Well worth the money for $30. Now you have two options. If you don't want to purchase one, you can make one. In the video description area, I will place a link to a cell phone jammer, cellular jammer that I made a while back. You can easily modify that circuit from the 900 megahertz that it's set at by playing around with the inductor and adjusting the length of the antenna wire. There's very little modifications to be done from that cell phone jamming circuit in that video. Now this works very simple. It transmits on the exact same frequency as your GPS receivers but it transmits a very noisy frequency. So it's going to cause a lot of interference, causing you to lose your link with the satellites. Now because the jamming radius is only 15 to 20 feet, you should have little, if any, effect on others around you. So you don't have to worry about jamming other people, unless you're parked next to somebody and you have this plugged in. If you're out and about moving around, the person would have to be following you to be jammed and following you very, very closely. What I'm going to do now is plug this in and show you what the transmitted frequency is. That's plugged in and jamming, and here is the frequency counter. Right around 1,573 megahertz. Now to demonstrate how well this GPS jammer works, I have the GPS jammer connected up to a 12 volt power supply. 12.5 just like it would be inside your vehicle. Now the GPS device that we're going to test this jamming ability on is going to be this Bushnell backtrack. What this is when you go hiking you could push set point and then you could always find your way back to the location that you set. Now you can see the satellite right there is not flashing. As long as that's not flashing that would indicate that the satellites are locked in and everything is just fine. As soon as the satellite starts to flash, that would be your indication that you're within jamming range of this device right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the jammer. Let's connect up to 12 and a half volts. Green LED is on. 
And let's take a look at this. And there you go. Already it's flashing. I'm going to stand away now. And what should happen, the satellite should reacquire. And we can get an idea of the range of this jamming device. Let me stand away. Right now I'm about 13 to 15 feet away. Let me move around in this range of around 13 to 15. Let's see if the satellite reacquires in this range. Up, oh, there it is. Now reacquired. Now I'll turn around and we're a good 15 feet away. It's way over there on the ground. I'm over here. It's way over there. And I'm slowly going to approach and we're going to see. So it's still working. The satellite's locked. Oh, I just lost it. Probably a good 18 feet away. So it's pretty safe to say that this does work as advertised within a range of 15 to 18 feet, which is exactly what you're looking for. You're looking to protect yourself and you're not looking to jam everybody else around you. So if you're in your vehicle and you don't want to be tracked, just plug this in your lighter and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well.